Hello citizens and welcome back. This is our match preview for City first Brentford in the Premier League. It's a massive game, so make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well if you're new. Both of those things really help the channel to grow, so thank you for doing that. And now let's jump into the game. So Brentford, on paper, they look like they could be an easy team to beat. They've won one of their last six games, they've drawn the last three, and they went out in the League Cup over the week to Gillingham on penalties. So, on paper, it looks quite easy. However, Brentford do have quality players throughout the squad. They're well organised defensively, they're dangerous on the counter-attack, they've got some good forwards, and they've got a decent coach in Frank too. So this isn't, I feel, going to be like 3, 4 or 5 No, I think it's going to be a close game. And we saw last time out in the Premier League against Fulham just how one moment can turn things. However, that being said, I do expect us to get the three points. And I think we need three points as well because I don't want to be chasing Arsenal like five points behind, three points behind, whatever it is going into this World Cup break. I want us to be as close to them as possible because I do expect them to beat Wolves over the weekend. Now, the next Premier League game after this is in five weeks. So if we don't win this game, we have a very long time to think about it and to be pretty salty about it. So this one for me is all about playing the best 11, playing the best squad you can put out on that pitch. And that's what Pep needs to do. It's not about rotating. It's not about resting. It's about playing the best team you can. Because, of course, in the World Cup, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how players are going to come back from that, what state they're going to be in, who's going to get injured. So it's not about any of that for me. It's about City tomorrow. And that's what Pep needs to think about. Now, in defense, Edison Lightning's come back in for Ortega. And um, ahead of him, Diaz Laporte maybe could start. They had a good game against Chelsea, both of them. But I mean, in whoever plays Akanji or Ake, Stones, whoever, I think they can do a pretty good job. I think our centre backs at the moment, they're one of our strongest, one of our strongest positions, I think. I think we're really good there. Full back, Cancelo's going to be suspended, of course, after that stupid red card. And uh, yeah, maybe Gomez plays. He had a decent game against Chelsea, not the best, but he did all right. Defensively, I don't really, I I'm not really sure on him defensively. Going forward, I have no problem. He puts in some amazing crosses. He whips the ball right across, just like Walker does. He's very, very good at right back. Like I said, it depends who he plays at centre back. Could be Stones, could be Akanji. Who knows? Defence midfield has to be Rodri in front of him, De Bruyne, Bernardo. I don't want to see Gundogan play in this game. You know, if he comes off the bench, fine. But for me, it has to be De Bruyne and um, Bernardo because them two, I think they're really well balanced along with Rodri. And I think Bernardo does a really good job of helping Rodri protect the defence. And he's really good going forward as well. Um, ahead of them three. Now, I expect him to play forward and if Foden's fit. Foden for me has to be started. Out of the wide players, I think Foden is a must start every single time. And Grealish on the left, Foden on the right, I'd be happy with that. In the middle, now we don't know if Haaland's going to play. Pep said in his press conference, you know, ahead of this game, that Haaland is better, but he's not perfect. And he'll see later on today if he's going to play. But if Alvarez starts ahead of him, I don't really have a problem with that. I think Alvarez has been brilliant the last few weeks. He's got goals, he's got assists, you know, his work rate. I have no problem with Alvarez playing in this game if he does. Um, but of course, I want to see Haaland start. Um, for me, that would probably be our best 11 or roughly anyway. And like I said, this is all about three points. It's all about City today. We don't care about the World Cup tomorrow going into this game. We care about City. And that's why I don't want to see any rotation. I don't want to see any silly like choices or strange picks going into this one. I just want to see Pep play his best 11. I want to get the three points because I don't want to be thinking about this game for five weeks wondering what if and also if you look at it if you look at the Fulham game last weekend and how much we celebrate winning that game at the, right at the end with that penalty you know you could argue yeah it was Fulham but it's massive and it shows how important it is to the players that we keep winning and it shows the determination and the heart of this squad that it can dig out that result with 10 men so I don't know any other team in this league that can play as well as we do with 10 men and we deserve that win by the way um, we did deserve it, and I think it'd be a shame to let that good result and that fantastic performance go to waste in this one if we don't get the three points. So hopefully we can do that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. That's my match preview. Nice, short, and sweet. Like I said, make sure to hit the like button. It really does help. And hit subscribe as well. Honestly, we're trying to grow, and every little bit helps. Now, I will be doing a match watch along for the Brentford game, so make sure to join me for that. Kickoff is at 12.30, I believe, so I'll be on about 12-ish, so make sure to join me for that. We've had some great match watch alongs in recent weeks. I've really enjoyed them all, and I'm sure you have as well. 
and just a final note i will be doing watch alongs for the world cup as well i've decided so thank you very much for watching thanks for checking it out now remember it is november so go say hi to a bro and have a great weekend see you tomorrow at the watch along bye bye